All right, guys, everyone's gonna love this delicious apple pastry. All right, we're gonna start by grabbing a lid, removing that excess, have a perfect circle. Next up, I have a red apple, and I'm gonna place it right there in the center of that circle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cutting symmetrically. So we're gonna go right here where the apple starts. We're gonna cut down this way, and then same thing on the opposite side behind. All right, next up, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab those strips of puff pastry and I'm gonna pull them up into the apple just like that, making sure they kind of overlap just ever so slightly. And we're gonna do that all the way around. All right, last one, getting it all in there. All right, so next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my fingers and push that puff pastry up against the walls of the apple so that way you have a nice clear entrance just like that, a perfect little entrance. All right, I'm gonna do that with my second apple. All right, second apple wrapped. I have them in a little um, oven pan, so I'm gonna move this out of the side for a second. I'm gonna bring over my little cooking pan here. So I'm gonna grab half a stick of butter and we're gonna pop that on there, kind of letting it melt. All right, all that butter is melted, so now I have the insides of those apples and I'm gonna pop those in there just like that. Brown apple. They are brown, yeah, because I took a little while, but that's okay because they're going to cook up. And I think the browner they are, the softer they are, and the easier they are to melt. So what I have now is I have some ground cinnamon, and I'm going to sprinkle, ooh, that was the wrong cap, <laughs> sprinkle on there just like that. And I have a half a cup of packed brown sugar. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So I'm going to go ahead, incorporate it, mix it, kind of Make sure that all of those apples kind of get marinated in all of that sweet stuff, just like that. Looking good. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a little while so that way it kind of gets nice and melted and all of that apple juice kind of seeps out. All right, you guys, once those apples are nice and cooked, we're gonna move this out of the way right here in the back. I'm gonna bring my wrapped apples right there. So what I'm gonna do now is first grab the cooked apples and I'm gonna fill these little apples with the cooked apples, just like that. We're gonna fill it up, do one on each side, and just keep going like that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. It might look delicious. Oh yes, oh my gosh, next time we should try it, filling it with like um, pecans. Oh yeah. Pecans, or whatever you guys wanna call it. All right, it's looking good. All right, beautiful. All right, so with all of that leftover juice that we have in our pan, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a little brush here, and I'm gonna brush the outside of that apple with all of that delicious, sweet, cinnamon brown sugar apple juice. Wow. All right. It's gonna be so good. This is gonna be delicious. Okay, so once that is set, like I said, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna pop that in there for about 15 to 20 minutes and I cannot wait to show you the results. Okay. All right, you guys, oh, wow. look at that. that looks good. Looking so good. All right, I'm gonna grab them, bring them over here. Oh my gosh, those are nice wow. and heavy. Those are gonna be nice and full. All right, here we go. That's amazing. These look so good. And they smell so good too. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down the middle so we can see what's going on on the inside. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh yes, oh crispy. Oh yes, Jesus, oh, that looks so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. That's amazing. I need to take a bite right now. Before I take a bite, I do have a question because I'm, a, I'm still learning here. So down here, it's pretty much cooked. Here, it didn't cook all the way through, but the outside has kind of browned already. And I didn't want it to burn. So let me know if you have any little tips and tricks on to how to have it cook all the way through without the outside getting too burnt. Let me know. All right, so, but down here, we're good to go. So we're gonna take a nice little bite. Actually, mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna okay. take a bite there yeah. because it's still cooked there. Mm -hmm. And I just wanna try that inside. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Is it good? That tastes like an apple pie. Oh. Mm. You no, know, the McDonald's apple fritter things. Okay. But like fresh. <laughs> Whoa, that is so good. That looks good. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You guys help me out. Help me out with that and let me know if you guys would try this because it's so, so good. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. Good job. Huh.